Hey everybody, this is Fago Franklin the Third with New Stitch Media. I'm here right now with a good friend of mine. Her name is Jennifer King. She is the Washington Redskins full year coaching intern. How are you doing today? I'm doing well, man. Thanks for having me. Always, always. So tell me, you know, what are you doing throughout this pandemic? Um, are, are you, you know, uh, uh, keeping up with some of the players, uh, some of the NFL draftees? Uh, are you getting your mind mentally prepared for this season? Yeah, I mean, we, we kind of never stop working. So it's, it's kind of been business as usual for us. Um, although we haven't been in the facility and obviously we hadn't been able to get out on the grass with the players. But, you know, we've been doing our virtual meetings, which, um, I mean, I think they're going as good as you can expect. And I'm just excited to, to get everybody back. So tell people a little bit about your and how you make it to the pro level as they, you know, one of the interns for the Washington Redskins. Did you hear that last part? No, it was a bad connection. Can you repeat that question for me? Um, yes. So tell people um, a little bit about your journey and how you made it to the pro level with make it, um, making it to the Washington Redskins um, intern level as far as coaching. Yeah, it was, it's kind of a crazy journey, man. It, it was long and there was a lot that happened. Um, I guess, you know, the short version of it, I was coaching college basketball and, and playing football and also coaching football at some lower levels and um, kind of made the decision that I wanted to coach football at a higher level and uh, met Coach Rivera at the NFL Coaching Forum. And that ultimately led to my first internship with the Panthers. And um, during that time, you know, I learned a lot and, and tried to contribute as much as possible. And uh, I actually went on to Arizona and worked with the Hot Shots from the AAF there and uh, worked with the receiver group and did some special team stuff. And when that league ended, I, I, I went back to Carolina and worked with the running backs, which was another great experience for me. And uh, last season, I was with Dartmouth um, and I worked with the receivers there and did some quality control stuff. What advice could you give young women that want to be coaches or have a career within sports? What advice can you give them? Yeah, I mean, just, you know, know what you want to do and grind to get there and know that it's going to be a grind and it's going to be some tough times for you and maybe even some no's and naysayers, but just really be strong in, in your mindset and what you want to accomplish. I think that, that's super important. Do you think that there will be fans this season? Uh, man, I have no idea, man. <laughs> I mean, I, I hope so. Um, I hope they can find a way to do it. But, you know, at this point, it seems to be a lot more questions really than answers about a lot of things. Um, with you being the coach or, or interning with the coach with the uh, Washington Redskins, what do you honestly think that they need to improve in to take it to the next level to get to the playoffs? Well, I mean, you know, I think Coach Rivera's done a good job starting to implement the culture. And, and that's a, I think that's going to be a big thing for us is just, you know, changing the mindset, changing the attitude around the building. And um, I mean, everybody in the NFL can play. So it's sometimes it's not exactly X's and O's. It's more about, you know, what's going on internally. And I think, you know, he's doing a great job to do that. And I'm super excited, you know, to be a part of it. What advice can you give people just in general about taking the leap of faith and going towards their dreams? Yeah, you, you just got to do it. You know, don't don't be afraid. And um, I think that's one thing that helped me is that I really just kind of developed that mindset that I wasn't afraid to fail. Um, you know, I, I felt like I would be okay no matter what happened. And, um, you know, that, that mindset helped guide me through, a, you know, some tough times and some times when things didn't go my way. But ultimately, um, you know, I knew that I would succeed. And, uh, you know, I just continued to put myself in position to in order to be successful. With all these different protests going on, what advice can you give people of color about just trying to be unified together and, and uh, kind of present their, their hurt and pain and more so of a positive way instead of a negative uh, way? Yeah, I mean, obviously, it's a very tough time that we're going through right now, just uh, you know, as a nation in general. So I think it's super important for people to really uh, band together. And, you know, we need everybody. You know, it's not just people of color that we need to to help start fixing these issues. And I think that's going to be really important if we can get support from everybody. You know, the, as you talked about, you know, those people that aren't exactly affected by things that are going on, you know, when they can start helping out as well and, and be a part of this movement, you know, hopefully we'll start to be able to see some change. And the last question I'm going to ask you is, what are some aspiring words that you give, get, can give others about um, making things happen and going towards their dreams? 
Yeah, the, you know, the main thing is, is really have a plan. You know, a lot of times people reach out to me and tell me they want to work in sports and what can I do or, you know, advice they give. And I think it's there's so many things you can do in sport. I think it's very important to have a, a detailed idea of exactly which path you want to go on and then, you know, maybe reach out to mentors in that area. Or